What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with a few videos today. Not, not a whole lot. <clears throat> but uh, I've been dominating the Blue Beetle trailer so far this week. And uh, that's because I really care about, about Blue Beetle. And I, what I view what they're doing with Blue Beetle is that they're kind of Spider-Manning him. Well, speaking of Spider-Man, there was another trailer that dropped this week. I don't know anything about it. I've heard a thing or two things that maybe I should be concerned about. I don't know. We're going to uh, watch it. We're going to watch the trailer here. And we're going to see, should I be concerned? Is there something in this trailer that honestly I should be concerned about? Because I've heard a thing or two, but I don't know where they show up. So we're going to do another reaction video to the Spider-Man into the spider across the spider verse two whatever look let's let's watch it okay so What's up, danger? Can I, real quick no we're five seconds in but i'm gonna have to pause periodically just because of copyright issues so yes and i have to trans creatively transform this due to copyright and copyright disclaimer i'm not this isn't mine. I'm just reacting to it. So transformative. Transformative. When it comes to this animation style, I'm not a super big fan of it. There's parts of it that I like. There's parts of it that I dislike. I like it more here than I do, let's say, the TMNT trailer. So I got to be fair. I like it more here. I'm still not a huge fan of it. I don't. I do like how it looks a little bit better, though. It, it kind of has a unique comic book feel, even though this is Miles Morales. And Miles Morales is Miles Morales, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Moving on. My name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one. See, even he acknowledged that he's Miles Morales. So, so I'm supposed to look for something on the buttons. I don't, I don't see anything. Maybe, maybe I'm just not seeing it yet. Do see these weird buttons. He's one and only Spider-Man. And things are going great. Oh yeah, you were supposed to be her five. All right, whatever. Whatever? Wow. Whatever? So Okay. To be fair, interactions, yeah. I can see it. I just I don't like the animation so far. It's just off-putting for some reason. I like it more here. It's I do kind of like how it fades in and out, but okay. So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am the spot. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't don't do that. That that I agree with the spot. That's not that funny. It it's kind of boring. Miles' grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay I'll, I'll give him that. That one was kind of funny. Oh. Oh. I see it now. I see it now. Because I, I chuckled at that. But um, <clears throat> might be a little hard to see on the little tiny screen. That's a BLM button. Specifically placed right in front. You do realize that, and I know, oh, it's a button, it's a button. Uh, the fact that there's a button there that specifically says BLM Hashtag BLM, by large mansions, tells you what these creators care about. Now, there might be a decent story here. I don't think so, especially because of some of the things I've seen so far, mainly in trailer number one. The fact that you have BLM here already tells me that you care about your propaganda. That's what you care about. I don't want even right wing popper propaganda and I don't want libertarian propaganda. I just want a decent story. Don't be putting this stuff in there, but apparently it gets worse. 
Although I, I will admit I chuckled there mainly because his mom's Latina and maybe Dominican. I can't remember. And he's fail has a B in Spanish and not an A. So I I'll admit I chuckled. Okay. Miles. Are you trying to Mira, that's I gotta go. All right, he's lying to you. And I think you know it. What's up, danger? Miles. Hmm. So she was able to figure out that he's lying. His secret's gonna get found out. Okay. Check. Want to get out of here? Oh, when? So wait a minute. There's an elite crew with all the best spider people. God. Actually, I, I don't even like Spider Punk, and I should like Spider Punk, but I hate what they did with her. This is supposed to be Spider Woman, and they're when they race changed her. This is they have her looking more like oh, what was that? God, I cannot remember that superhero's name. She has the robotic arm. She usually runs around in New York City. God, it's blanking on me. But she looks more like that. She doesn't look like Spider Woman. Plus, she's pregnant. What? And I get it. It was a comic. It was a crappy comic then, too. Moving on. Best Spider people in it? Uh, who's the new guy? Is that India Spider Man? Unbelievable. This is the lobby. Miguel O'Hara. The whole thing was his idea. What's a guy gotta do to join this spider team? You can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999. Two things. One. Two things. One, I like what he's pointing out. The MCU. Spider-Man is not Earth 316. I think that's what it was. I, I'm getting the universe numbers wrong. I know it's something like that. Maybe 136. No, 316. Yeah, the 316 universe. No. God, I'm getting all the universes mixed up again. I'm, I'm trying here. 616. Earth is not 616. Well, MCU is not 616. So what he's pointing out is accurate. I will give him that. And I like the point out that, hey, don't get me started on this other Spider-Man that tried to destroy the multiverse. I like that part. What I don't like is how he's immediately hostile to everything. He Obviously, he wants to protect the multiverse, but Miles didn't do anything to the multiverse, so... I okay. Come on, go easy on the kid. He had a terrible teacher. Peter Miles, Mayday. you have a baby. I have a baby. I'll take it from here. Miles, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. You have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. Okay. I like that part. Thing is, though, Miles Morales is Miles Morales, Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Every, every iteration of Spider-Man should be Miles Morales. Now, I did like the first movie of this, like I've said in a previous video, but that still is Miles Morales. He's still just Miles. He's not Spider-Man. He's not a unique character. He has very similar villains and so on and so forth. So, and I. I don't know so far. Let, let's keep going. Send me home. I can't do that. I can do both. Spider-Man always. Not always. What about Uncle Ben? If not for Uncle Ben, most of us wouldn't be here. Can't stop me now. Hmm. Spider-Man always. Oh, trying to save everybody. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see parts of the plot. I'm figuring it out. It's not that big of a surprise. You can't run forever, kid! I can't lose one more friend. Miguel, this isn't what we talked about! Supposedly, I need to go back for a moment. Okay? This is what I've been told. 
And I know I'm jumping around, but I'm supposed to go back. Oh. BLM button. Meet protect trans kid flag. Again. I don't know. So that kind of looks like a BLM fist too. Social media fist up in the air. Protect trans kids. Again. What does this go to? Just them being there shows that the creators care about their propaganda. Now, the story could still be decent, but their propaganda is still there. They want to subtly influence you. They want to subtly put it in there to show you where they're coming from. That is a problem. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want to see it at all. You know, real quick, American flag just says, hey, I'm pro-America. That's it. I'm from America. Something like that. You could have literally any other flag here except for political talking point flags. Honestly, if it was just a trans flag, probably wouldn't have that big of an issue with it. But because it's what it specifically says is a political point. That's what the problem ends up being. The fat BLM button and the protect trans kids flags are both political talking points. That becomes the issue. Uh, let's see where this goes. Lose one more friend. You tell me, isn't what we talked about. You knew? I had no idea what you're doing. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. His own thing's gonna be him being Miles Morales. I have a prediction as we round this up. Obviously, he's the bad dude. Uh, Spider-Man. It's not 99. He's the future Spider-Man. Oh, my God. I'm blanking on names today. I've been awful at names all day today. And no, that's real life stuff that you guys don't really care about. But God, he's obviously going to be the bad guy, even though he's pretty cool. It's like the Batman Beyond version of Spider-Man. I think he's going to end up getting beat up, uh, though, by diverse pregnant spider woman to save the day. Because he's doing bad stuff. And he's forcing Miles out. Stop Spider-Man. You? Okay, that was cool. Okay. See, you got some interesting memes. And there was Scarlet Spider. You got interesting Spider-Man. No, that's not from a video game. I remember that one. That's... I think that's also uh, a version of I j the future Spider-Man. I think I could be getting that one wrong. I don't remember where this one's from, but I I, I like that. You know what? Me? Me? And then I looked at my uncle and uh, let me guess, he died. Okay. I don't like that last part. Kind of making fun of Uncle Ben's passing. Uncle Ben's passing is actually very influential in everything. You know the story. I, I don't like that. I understand that across the Spider-Verse, there is a Spider-Verse. There is a multiverse of Spider-Man. That is a whole point of Spider-Man. I would prefer Peter Parker being the one to travel the Spider-Verse, Spider not Miles Morales, because Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Peter Parker's Spider-Man. I... The fact that there's a trans flag in the BLM thing is bothering me a lot. The story could be good. I can say it times and times again. But those two points are very specific. It goes to political talking points. It goes to political ideologies. It goes to propaganda and just a bare minimum amount of injection into the story now hey it might just be a symbol it might just be two symbols they might not even address them but it also goes to where the creators are coming from the first miles morales movie not that bad not a whole lot of ideology in it either it's a story still i, I kind of like it aspects of it i like kind of fun but still, Miles Morales just takes up Peter Parker's mantle 
he's still just Miles Morales. He's not his own original character. He just had he hasn't made it there yet. And this, though, those two points show where they're going. You mix that, actually three points. You mix that, plus the specific Spider-Woman they chose, whose name is freaking escaping me. God, why is it escaping me? Jessica something. But she looks more like another lady who has the afro and is black. The fact that they have these particular stories, or particular talking points, a particular version of a character that's already been race changed tells you what they are doing, tells you where they are going with this, and tells you, I ain't really that interested in this. Well, let, let's see how it ends. Okay, June 2nd. Play, play has now no limits. Okay, whatever. That's done. That's gone. Let me think. I didn't hate it as much as the Blue Beetle trailer. I thought the Blue Beetle trailer was dog shit, but that's because I really, really like Blue Beetle and I like Jaime Reyes. This trailer, not the worst thing in the world, but those points, like I've been saying, those three points go to where the creators are thinking, go to what the creators want to do, what their goals are, what their aspirations are. Ah, it, it, it worries me. But let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.